welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in EDH. Today we're looking at one of the most prominent CEDH commanders available, Najila the Blade Blossom. So Najila is a 3 mana red 3-2, but it has Wooburg in the text, so it is technically all 5 color identity. Whenever a warrior attacks, and she herself is a warrior, you may have its controller create a 1-1 white warrior creature token that's tapped and attacking. And now here's where it, we get really spicy. For one mana of every color, untap all attacking creatures. They gain trample, lifelink, and haste until end of turn. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Activate this ability only during combat. So there's two main pathways of winning with Najila. The first is simply assembling a bunch of warrior tokens and beating your opponent to death, which happens surprisingly much quicker than you would think. Even just Najila on the board can snowball out of control because the warrior tokens generate more warrior tokens. Then obviously the second path to victory is finding a way to generate infinite mana, especially in combination with the warrior tokens that are attacking. So basically using the tokens as the source of the extra mana to continuously untap all of the attackers and continue to attack over and over. So there are various combos in the deck that will allow us to generate mana off of those warrior tokens, which we can then spend on the untapping effect, generating warrior after warrior and eventually beating our opponents down through infinite combat steps. So in order for that to happen, we need to be able to generate at least Wooburg every combat, and we need to say at least net even or adding at least one more warrior token every attack. So how are we going to do that? Well, the main ways are by assembling extra mana with things like Derevi. So whenever Derevi enters or a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may tap or untap target permanent. So if you hit your opponent with, say, five warrior tokens, Derevi will trigger five times. You can untap five mana sources, pay for the Najila Wooburg ability before combat ends, then you'll get to attack again. Now, aside from that, just to go through the rest of this pretty easily, we have our typical card draw spells, including Adnaz, but things like the One Ring and Samet Vizier of Noctamoon, which is going to be particularly useful in this deck, both because it allows us to draw extra cards, but it is also a warrior. And we have a bunch of combo pieces that have nothing to do with Najila, but are just really, really good CEDH combo pieces. So things like Console Oracle, Breach Combos with Brain Freeze and LED, and Mnemonic Betrayal as a way to grab a bunch of opposing things and potentially use those in combos. We have a few counter spells to protect what we're doing. Final Fortune, sometimes we may only be one turn away from actually beating our opponents, so this is a way of doing that. Bunch of fast mana. The faster we can get Najila into play, the quicker we can win. And sometimes winning may be as simple as getting Najila into play on turn one and then just snowballing out of control with warrior tokens. Bunch of lands with a particularly low land count at 28. Forbidden Orchard is a little bit awkward in granting our opponents a blocker, but we can always just gift the Forbidden Orchard to the same opponent. As long as we've got one opponent that we can attack, we're fine. Some protection spells, bunch of ramp, obviously. A little bit of reanimation effect with Savin's Reclamation, mostly as part of the Breach combo. A little bit of removal, sweeping, Drowned Magistrate, obviously. Absolute gargantuan amount of tutors in order to assemble all of the various combos that we're trying to assemble. And one little Phantasmal image here. Now, aside from that, there's a ton of things that you could have potentially played in the deck that I ultimately opted not to. So 54 different cards in the Considering tab. I'll point out some of the ones that stand out. So there's things like Toski, Edric, those kinds of effects that we can use to maybe draw cards off of the tokens. Mindblade Render is a cheap draw engine that is also a warrior and triggers off of warriors. There's also things that work well with tokens. So things like Chatterfang, Reconnaissance as a way to make it so that our creatures are not dying in combat or we're untapping them. So if we have any way of using them to tap for mana, we can do that. Additional counter spells various lands I opted not to play, various protection spells I opted not to play, various ramp I opted not to play, removal, stacks cards, tutors, cards like Nature's Will. There are different variations on the Derevi effect. There's various effects that will be beneficial if we're hitting our opponent with a bunch of tokens, effects that cause us to draw cards, effects that make hitting our opponents with those tokens generate mana. So this is all just a matter of how many of these effects do you want? Do you want extra copies? Do you think certain versions are better than others? This main list is the one that I opted to play, but there's a lot of potential for mixing and matching. 
the only real consideration with Najila is basically whether you have the sufficient number of basically CDH staples and specific combo lines that work with Najila. She doesn't require that you play that many cards specific to Najila. You'll have your odd one here and there like Sama or Derevi, but for the most part, it's kind of the same old CDH slop that you see a lot of the time, but particularly with a more like beat down orient because of Najila. I will also point out that Najila has been a pretty solid top tier CEDH commander for as long as she's been printed. And so there are a lot of even more in-depth detailed primers. So if you want to see some of those, I've included them here. You can go to the Moxfield link in the description of this video, go to primer right here. And if you click on this, I've linked Pongo's primer and uh, Coach Memo and F Niggle's primer here. So again, if you want like a much more in-depth version with players that have played potentially like thousands of games with these decks, you can read those. But with that said, that is going to be Najila the Blade Blossom for EDH.